have to be B. No, Xi can be Q and uh, Xk can be P. No problem, I told you before. X is selected from the range of the Q and the P, both. And what about Xj? I, I selected Xj like a Q, but here, look at that. I selected this Q and I selected that. Uh, okay, you mean that. Okay, I, we can have this. Yes, we can have also this. Don't worry. Yes. But that will be zero. It depends. Of course, it depends on the index, but if the index is not... Uh, yes. For example, x partial derivative of the y is respect to py, for example, this is here. Oh, x and x is x and p is p, but the index is different. This is a x1, for example, and this is a p2, oh, if you think about the y as a coordinate number 2. Oh. Harmonic oscillator is the example which this theorem worked for it very well. But this is a simple p over a square plus 1 over m omega This is the, the model is very useful for to describe a wide range of the phenomena, very, very wide range of the phenomena. Just, I wanted to use this theorem here, so, and this is a one dimensional, okay? I don't want to talk. I have one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator. Let me to write that what this will be. What is partial A with respect to Q M omega squared? And what is that? Double of the potential. Huh? And according to the part AQ partition theorem, it should be that. So expectation value of the potential will be KBT. Look at that. Uh, this is, I think, many, many students will confuse, even many researchers. This averaging is done, the statistical averaging, and we have a harmonic oscillator. This is a quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. Hmm? Schrodinger equation gives you the wave function for this, huh? yeah. and the energy level. But they are only at the T0. I want to tell you that the Schrodinger equation nothing to do with the temperature. So this is a given at T0. So the real system is that, and here the quantum mechanics is very important. But if you have a finite time like here, finite temperature like here, equipartition theorem gives you the expectation value of this, that at the temperature of T, independent from the wave function at this temperature. I mean the wave fun what is the wave function for how many oscillator at the temperature, room temperature? We don't know that. Yes? Because Schrodinger equation doesn't give you any information about the wave function at the finite temperature. It gives you at only at the T0. So this expectation value and statistical expectation value give you the average of the potential. This is very important. So there is a field they call it thermal field theory. So it is a study of the quantum mechanical system with many particles in the finite temperature. Very interesting field actually. And it lets me to do that for the, the same. If you do for the same, I will do, don't do that. So uh, I, I want to do. So PM, so it still will be P over M. So two of the kinetic energy. Huh? And do you know what is the funny? The funny thing is that, and this, that's all. So for how many oscillator at any temperature, the average of the kinetic energy, the average of the potential energy are the same. And you know that the kinetic energy plus potential energy is the total energy. And because are the same, so you can write the double average of this or double average of the potential is equal to the, the average of the H or Hamiltonian or E. So average of the E will be two times of that. For 
one dimension, for one dimension. If you have a three dimension, what do you expect? For three dimension, you would have a three here, and three here also, three here. And uh, I want mention here that that's very interesting. At t0, I told you, at t0 you can sh show the Schrodinger equation, huh? And you can get the wave function for this harmonic oscillator, huh? The wave function for harmonic oscillator will be this function minus m omega This is the wave function for the simple harmonic oscillator, one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, according to the Schrodinger equation, okay? But uh, uh, you can find it that in the quantum mechanics textbook. And I, I think you will be able to solve also the Schrodinger equation. Huh? You, you need to solve the Schrodinger equation for this potential of I don't know what is the funny. The funny is that if I use that to find the expectation value of the uh, kinetic energy and the potential, so I want you to do this calculation. So find for me the expectation value of the potential energy. You, you are familiar with this notation, no? This is the expectation value. So do that and do also for that. But for momentum, you needed to use the operator form for the momentum. For each one, will be half of the minimum energy of the system. Will be half over one over half h bar omega. And this is for T0. And for finite time, you have a KBT. So, so you, think, you see that at zero temperature, the energy is in the order of the plunge, and final temperature, it's in the order of the K. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what's, the, what's the result? What, what does it mean? What do you understand from here? You understand that each quantum of the energy in quantum mechanics is proportional to the one thermal pack of the energy. So you can define the temperature from the quantum mechanics. You can define the wavelengths for the thermal energy. So that's, a, that's called a thermal wavelengths. And this is the wave function for the quantum mechanics. This is the wave function. Actually, you needed to solve this Schrodinger equation. I write because maybe I will ask you to do that because it's very essential for us to be familiar with the Schrodinger equation for the harmonic oscillator. So this is the equation for Schrodinger equation. So you needed to solve this equation. The solution I'm giving in Hermit's form. We need that for the next chapter. We need the solution of this equation. Hermit equations. Hermit functions. So at T0 you can use the state quantum mechanics, but at finite T you have a two options. One is that develop a finite temperature version of the wave function. Yes. And the other is that you use the statistical physics. So the thermal the thermal version of the Schrodinger equation existed, but we don't talk about the thermal wave functions. 